All right, you guys are down here in the lure lab with me because this fly right here, this fly right here just caught a monster salmon. Probably the biggest salmon I've caught in, I would say, five years at least. It was a big 30-pound male, and I mean a true 30-pounder, not just like a 25-pounder that everybody calls a 30-pounder. It's a really big male, and uh, it happened to eat this fly right here, and this is a fly that has probably been one of my best patterns over the last five years. It's one that I tie myself, and it's kind of reminiscent of the old atomic hammer fly, although it has a little more green in it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I tie this thing up, and then uh, we're going to roll the big sexy salmon footage. All right, real quickly, I want to run down the uh, materials I'm using to tie this fly. A lot of you guys have asked me where I get my materials, be it the heads or the uh, four-inch band and mylar tinsel. Honestly, I stocked up on a lot of this stuff about 15 years ago, and uh, I've been using the same stuff ever since. And I did some poking around on the phone today because a lot of the companies I ordered from, including uh, Atomic, which is where I got these heads, they do not sell materials anymore. They're just pretty much selling their own flies. So uh, I found another company called SalmonElixir.com, and they have a ton of the banded mylar tinsel in a bunch of different colors, some really cool colors I've never seen before, this stuff here. And they also have the heads and some cool finishes, different colors. So I'm probably going to be ordering from them soon. I will put a link to their website in the description of this video. But uh, real quickly, I'll run down this pattern here. Uh, I'm going to be using about 8 inches total of the uh, banded mylar tinsel. I'm going to start with 3 inches of the blue hologram. And then we're going to do 2 inches of the chartreuse flat. And then we'll do 2 inches of the spectrum. And this is a really cool hologram color. It really lights up in the water. And then we'll finish up with an inch of the uh, fluorescent yellow flat here, which is all staticky and wants to go everywhere right now. I'm going to be using about 8 inches of total material, which is about what I like to use when I'm tying these salmon trolling flies. So uh, I'm going to grab my bobbin and my thread and we'll get tying. All right, so we have our thread started on there. I'm going to start by wrapping our three inches of blue hologram. Wrap that on. You don't want to go too crazy with the thread between colors um, because you don't want to completely use up the space on your head with thread, but uh, you do want to get, I'd say, at least probably 20, 20 to 30 wraps on there. And next I'm going to go with the chartreuse flat. And after wrapping every color, I'm doing a couple half hitches. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our spectrum. Spectrum here. This looks really cool in the water. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's almost like a holographic, but it really sets off when you get it in the water. And then we're going to finish with our fluorescent yellow flat. Trim that off. And then we're just taking our, uh, our clear nail polish here, and I'm going to coat all that thread really well. And that's what's going to seal all that up. So be pretty liberal. You can use uh, fly head cement too. But uh, I usually use clear nail polish. Make sure you get all the way around there. Kind of liberally apply it so it, it'll really soak into that thread and kind of seal everything up. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Come catch this thing, man. I don't want to reel this all the way back in. Yeah, I'll walk That's fine. If I get tired, you can do it. There you go, man. He's only 300 out. Actually, I just want one that's like a five. Oh, he's coming at. Oh, he's... this one's wild, dude. That one's wild. That one. Big male too. Big mean male. Woo!